Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today is Sunday and honestly I didn't have much planned today other than filming and I was going to edit a video. But, almost like maybe an hour and 15 minutes ago, I got a call from work and they asked me if I wanted to work today from 1 to 5. And because I don't have anything else planned, I said, why not? So, I'm actually gonna work for four hours um, but I guess they were getting busy so they needed some help and why not make some extra cash so I figured that I can share with you guys what it is that I do in a day um, if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about that then keep on watching also I do want to mention that I am a registered nurse I'm also currently a family nurse practitioner student and on this channel I share my nursing advice my nursing journey as well as bits and pieces of my life so if you're interested in any of that type of content make sure to subscribe to my channel ring the bell for notifications and like this video if you enjoy it um, while you're watching it but let me log on so like I said this is very random um, I don't plan to work every Sunday I do work Monday through Friday so I figured I could just do a few hours today I'm not doing anything anyways and I don't have to travel anywhere I could just literally just come here to the office open up my laptop and start so okay so pretty much what I do is that if we are reported that there is a disease um, incident then we get in touch with the patient and we first make sure that we are confirming the lab results um, like in the computer system and then also like actually have a test result from the lab and then I call the patient find out um, if they are aware of the results um, educate them on whether they are um, needing to isolate whether they need to take any other precaution um, we educate also on the symptoms find out about symptom onset find out if the symptoms have resolved and also we just do a lot of um, education and uh, make sure that they are um, being safe and know of how they can prevent the transmission of that specific disease. So that's pretty much what we do, but let's get started in my day and then um, I'll show you guys a little bit more. So I'm waiting for my computer to uh, log me in, but we also get cell phones and um, this is what we use. This phone, instead of our personal phone, is the one that we use to call our patients. Um, so I'm going to turn it on. I turn it off by the end of the day on Friday because I'm not going to be answering calls during the weekend when I'm not working. So I'm turning it on now. Just wait for that. Wait, is it doing it? Yeah. And also, patients can text us through these phones. I actually... Um, had a patient text me there um, last week so it worked out because sometimes they have problems with the signal like the phone signal where it wherever it is that they're at so it's just easier for them to text but still waiting for it to log in all right you guys so I am logged on already and before I start um, I want to make sure that I look through my emails to make sure that you know nothing has changed from the usual process um, usually we get updates through emails advising us of any updates or any changes that they have done so I'm gonna look through that and yeah it looks like there has been a process change so <laughs> that is why I look at my emails because it's important um, it's a part of my job to inform patients of these specific processes um, and there has been a change so let me look I also need to charge my laptop also you guys I got this pen for my birthday my last birthday for my coworker, and I found it today and I was all happy because it says my name okay so I just finished reviewing my emails and I'm just writing down emails that I need to follow up tomorrow on Monday I'm not gonna follow up on those today just because um, it looks like they're really busy and 
I'm gonna work on those cases, other cases instead. I'm also going to quickly update my timesheet. It was due yesterday, but because I picked up today, I'm just gonna put in those four hours for today so I could just get it over with because the supervisor needs to approve it. And then I'll also start logging on to all the other um, programs that I need to access for today. And once again, you guys, if you guys do not have a book where you guys can keep all your username and passwords, I highly advise that you do get one because it is very convenient, especially if you work in an office job. Not at the bedside, but at the office, definitely I advise that you have one. It's so much easier than remember, trying to remember all your passwords. Alright you guys, so I do have 10 cases scheduled um, for me today. And I'm probably not going to finish all of them, but I'll try my best. I'm not that fast yet. So it looks like it's a couple, so I'll have to get information from both of them. And they're two separate cases. Just because they're in one household doesn't mean it's one case. It's actually two separate cases for each person. I tried calling this patient, did not answer, so I left a voicemail in both English and Spanish and I'm just going to document that I called him and that I advised for him to call me back and then um, I'll just wait for his call. Okay, I'm going to call a second patient. So it was an invalid phone number and I obviously can't leave a voicemail, so I'm just going to document that. these two patients and I wasn't able to get in touch with them and it looks like they weren't able to get in touch with them yesterday either so I'm just gonna send a letter to them so that they can call me back it's just a general letter advising for them to please call me back and um, so far usually when I do send them they do call me back so I'm just gonna do that so also really quickly uh, it might be a little redundant but I just want to give a little tip out here if you are not aware um, or maybe you're like a new nurse um, instead of typing things over and over and over like the same thing for example this letter that um, I send out it's important that you usually just have a blank template of that form so that you can um, just refer back to it and just copy paste instead of typing it over and over and over you know it just it's such a huge time saver so it, that's very important um, that you just have a blank template of that form or even like frequently used notes that I usually have to write out um, if it's the same thing over and over I just write them on a word document save those notes and then copy paste them into the charts because it's faster and it saves you a bunch of time so if that's something that you find yourself doing typing the same thing over and over and over just create a word document save it there and then just copy paste each time you have to um write that note also make sure that you have both in english and spanish so for me i call a lot of uh, spanish patients as well so i make sure that i save the templates for um both english and spanish speaking so i just copy paste that so yeah make sure that you're doing stuff like that it saves you a lot a lot of time Okay, so now that I've sent that email request for that letter, um, I also have to make sure I am keeping track of all the patients that I am contacting. So I have my own spreadsheet where I put all that information down. So I am doing that now, and then after that, I'll move on to the next patient.
right, you guys, so I am signing out. Um, it's about 5.10, and I finished, I called everybody. I don't remember, and I did not want to count because my neck is hurting a little bit, but um, I did call everybody who was on the list. I think I mentioned it earlier in this video how many people were on my list. So I called them, but not everybody answered, but at least I got through all of it today. And then tomorrow, I'll follow up on emails that I had from Friday and then also follow up on the ones that didn't call me back today but yeah i hope that you guys enjoy this video i am hungry so i'm gonna go eat i actually didn't have any breaks i just went to the restroom and that is the beauty of working from home though like you could just get up and go get a snack or go to the best bathroom whenever you want but yeah i hope that you guys have a wonderful day um, if you guys have any questions, make sure to comment down below. And also, of course, keep in mind that this is not the only thing I do, you know? But um, this gives you like a good amount of information as to what my usual day looks like. Um, but there is other stuff in between that I can't really go into detail because it's more like detailed and just I prefer not to do that. But. I hope that you guys have a great day. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you on the next one.